Top chip maker TSMC rebuffs US request for supply chain information. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing TSMC, the world's largest contract chip maker, said that it will not hand over confidential client information to the United States government in a latest response to Washington's request for chip firms to share their supply chain data amid a global semiconductor shortage. The US Department of Commerce on September 24 issued a request for information that asked American and foreign companies in the semiconductor supply chain, including producers, consumers, and intermediaries, to voluntarily fill out a questionnaire within four to five days providing information about inventories, demand, and delivery dynamics. It said the purpose was to identify possible hoarding and quantify bottlenecks that have crippled car manufacturing and caused shortages of consumer electronics in the United States. We are considering how to respond to the US RFI, but we will never provide our confidential client information and will never do what could impair the interest of our clients and shareholders, TSMC said. Although the request is voluntary, US Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo said in an interview with Bloomberg on September 24, 2021, Biden administration would likely consider all possible options including invoking the Cold War Era Defense Production Act to enforce compliance with the RFI. We have been actively supporting and working with all stakeholders to overcome the global semiconductor supply challenge, said TSMC, which counts Qualcomm, Advanced Micro Devices, and MediaTek as its major clients. The command came days after U.S. Department of Commerce spokesperson told Reuters that it had received indications from several companies that they will share the requested information, including Intel, General Motors, Infineon Technologies of Germany, and SK Hynix of South Korea. The semiconductor crunch, which has disrupted supply chains in many industries and is widely expected to persist until mid-2020, is fueling U.S. concerns of excessive dependence on East Asia for supplies of the key component, leading to growing calls from lawmakers for more initiatives to bring chip manufacturing back to American soil. According to statistics provided by research firm Trendforce in August, TSMC retained its crown at the world's number one contract chip maker in the second quarter of 2021, with a market share of 52.9%, followed by South Korea Samsung Electronics and Taiwan's United Microelectronics Corp, with 17.3% for Samsung and 7.2% for Taiwan United Microelectronics Corp. China Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp, SMIC, which is on a US export control blacklist, came in fifth with 5 5.3% market share. In a landmark bipartisan effort to re-establish a complete chip supply chain in the US, the Senate in June overwhelmingly passed a bill that would provide $52 billion to fund domestic semiconductor research, design, and manufacturing initiatives. However, TSMC founder Maurice Chang threw cold water on the multi-billion dollar investment plan saying at a tech industry forum in Taipei on that the United States would find it impossible to have its own full chip supply chain even if it spends far more, according to Japan. Nikkei Asia. Even after you spend hundreds of billions of dollars, you will still find the supply chain to be incomplete and you will find that it will be very high cost, much higher costs than what you currently have, said Chang, adding that some US tech executives clamoring for the return of chip manufacturing are driven by self-interest. The remarks by Chang, who retired from TSMC in 2018, came two weeks after current CEO CC Wei announced on an earnings conference call plans to build the company's first ever planned in Japan, which will focus on 22 nanometer and 28 nanometer technology, the kinds used in many chip types from image sensors to microcontrollers. In June, TSMC began construction at a site in the United States of Arizona, where it plans to build a factory that is set to start mass production of computer chips using advanced 5 nanometer technology in 2024. Reuters reported, citing CEO Wei. In the third quarter of this year, TSMC posted a 13.8% jump in net profit to $5.6 billion on revenue, up 16.3% year-on-year, according to its earnings report.